This is Mary Ellen Schneider with Global Medical News Network, reporting from the American College of Physicians annual meeting in Toronto. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Barr. What types of patient-centered medical home demonstrations are in the recently enacted health reform law? Good. Well, it's, it's really clear that the medical home has garnered a lot of attention all throughout the health care reform debate. Uh, the House bill had a few different demonstration projects described in there. The final version of the health care reform bill that was signed by President Obama calls for a CMS innovation center and for them to test different models of health care delivery, including the patient-centered medical home, accountable care organizations. And then we're expecting that within a few months we'll hear more about the demonstration projects. As you know, uh, the Medicare medical home demonstration project that was authorized by the Tax uh, Relief and Health Care Act of 2006 was put on hold. Now we think that either that or something related to it will be executed as part of the health care reform bill uh, so we can start seeing demonstration projects with Medicare aligned with commercial and Medicaid payers, which is the best kind of opportunity for testing the, the concept. How will this help primary care physicians who are interested in the medical home concept? Well, the one thing about the medical home concept, you know, I think that it describes a, a patient-centered approach to providing health care and very different model of delivering that health care so it's not just volume based that there's quality incentives that you redesign your practice to improve access health information technology is a large part of that but absent an economic model or an incentive package or a demonstration pa a program that actually in provide some additional funding for it, it's very difficult for practices to actually move through that transformation and build a medical home, let alone sustain it. So what we're hoping is the demonstration projects will attract enough people to test the model with the enhanced reimbursement to do the different things that it call for and that it'll show demonstrated results which will then in turn provide ongoing funding because people will now, or the, the federal government, commercial payers and Medicaid will believe that it's worth the investment. Great. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. For Global Medical News Network, this is Mary Ellen Schneider.